Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft video. I'm Tykin, and lately I've been working really hard trying to figure out a really decent sheep farm design, and I know there's tons out there already, but I've been trying to develop my own, and I've, I've had tons of ideas, but they haven't worked out too well. Uh, this concept right here was pretty much have a bunch of sheep in minecarts. I know they're chests right now, but uh, the chests count as entities, so they move just as fast as a sheep would, and sheep are harder to get into minecarts, so I figured this would be easier. Uh, the little things on the outside are just the uh, loaders, so they all load in correctly. Uh, the basic idea behind this is have a bunch of sheep in a circle spinning constantly around. So you could literally just stand right here, right click with your shears, and as they fly by, they'll get sheared. You can just sit in one location, and they can continually eat grass as they go. And it was perfect in concept, and the design works really well, but there's one major design flaw, is that uh, when you shear the sheep, the, the wool explodes and sometimes falls on the tracks and as soon as it does it interrupts the minecarts and it screws up everything. Uh, the other problem with this design, it took me a lot of tries to get to work, is sometimes the carts would uh, bump into each other and instead of going all in one direction they were bumping back and forth. Uh, one of the things that was causing the problem was the uh, sudden turn around the edges which is why you have these little uh, flat edges right here sort of it uh, it helps make them go in a straight line and uh, not bump into each other's edges. But this design didn't really work well, but it is a really interesting design, so if anybody can adapt it or use it for anything else, feel free. Just uh, kind of showing off my other things. This design, on the other hand, is based on the design pretty much I've seen everyone using, just about, uh, including just about everyone on my SMP as well. Um, this, of course, is an adaptation, and I kind of made my own changes because um, one of the problems I had with the original design is it was really big, held maybe five to six sheep before it became impossible to shear the back ones, and then it didn't have enough grass regeneration in order to feed more than six sheep, even if you could shear the back ones. Originally, what I did is I put a canopy up top where I could stand on top and uh, shear the sheeps from above, so it wasn't a problem, but then I noticed the more sheep I put, the bigger strain it was on the grass, so that didn't work. I tried putting a grass top uh, on the roof, so it had more grass growing down all over it, and then I tried going around it, but that was more of a hassle than it was worth. So I ended up decided on this design. Let me go ahead and give you a quick run-through on how it works. Let me get some shears and show how you use it. Wait a second, where are the shears? Ah, uh, here they are. Okay. okay. First of all, you come from here and you just walk through. You can easily shear them through the uh, slants in the uh, half slabs. Although you can use pressure plates, which are also easy to make. I think maybe easier. Uh, however, I just used half slabs because it looked kind of nicer. But as I said, you can easily come through here, pick all the sheep off, and then you just stand on this pressure plate. Uh, the water on the sides open up, and it pushes it all towards the middle right here, and instantly drops at your feet. It takes a little while because, you know, you don't have the uh, accommodation of ice or anything to help move it quicker, but it works. Uh, each cell is about seven squares long, and each hold about six sheep. So that's about almost uh, a sheep per square. You could probably fit another one sheep in there. But it may be hard to shear them because if they get on top of each other, of course, it's really hard to do. But uh, from a total of 12 sheep, and this generally small of design, it's it's wide, but you can see here it's it's generally much thinner. Uh, you get roughly, uh, I think, a third a stack of wool. So that that works relatively well. Uh, there's there's a few problems with design this design, but first of all, uh, let's look at the original design. The original design is about as wide as half of this. So it's about this wide, but it's also about this wide long. So it's uh, this on the sides as well. So it's a much bigger cell, holds about the same amount of sheep, and this design is pretty much smaller, even though it's it's wider, but this is basically two cells together to maximize efficiency. But you can hold a total of seven sheep per cell. Uh, it's mildly automated. Uh, as soon as you step on the pressure plate, all the items come to you, and it doesn't uh, stop until you get off. Um, 
what this does is this isn't really necessary. Uh, it just makes it kind of bulkier, if anything. But uh, you have two water sources on the side and a glowstone to help the grass glow grow and to stop the water. Uh, when you activate the pressure plate, the glowstone pulls back. The two water sources flow to each other and create a third water source in the middle. And it essentially... Uh, lengthens the water stream by an additional one than you would normally be able to do. So, let's see, the other thing is uh, it has a lot of wool regeneration. Oh, uh, let me fix that actually. Uh, from the sides, each of these half slabs has a piece of grass under it that the sheep can't get to, obviously. So you have grass on both sides, which you don't really need on both sides, but it does help the uh, grass regeneration, especially with that many sheep in that small amount of space. Then on the other side, of course, you also have them. But, as if two sides weren't enough, because, you know, with that many sheep in that enclosed tight of space, it's, it's really hard to uh, compensate for all the, the grass they're eating. So to increase the generation, uh, let's see, it's kind of hard to get through here because sometimes you click on the sheep, but uh, hidden over here is grass on top of the uh, pin as well, directly two blocks above the bottom grass, uh, two well, a total of three, but it's a grass block, two blocks of air, and then grass block, which is the uh, highest that you have to have it in order to grow downwards. And of course, it's all lit up with torches so it can grow downwards as well. So in other words, you have basically three sources of grass for it to spread from. In other words, really high efficiency grass regeneration. Uh, it doesn't have to spread out to any middle. It, it goes directly down or directly across, so it doesn't have to go into the middle, which max maximizes the time. It ha it takes up very little space, at least uh, depth-wise. Like, uh, th this is pretty much just an improved version of what everyone else has been using so far. I'm not entirely happy with it, because even though I like it, I, I, w I feel like I could do better. But uh, that's, that's it for this design. If you guys really like it and you don't understand how to build it, I could do a tutorial. But let me go ahead and show you guys the inside just real quick, just so you can get a basic understanding. Let's go ahead and uh, kill some of these sheep, though. We'll, we'll leave the other side full since it's uh, symmetrical. Uh, we can just pretty much take out one side. Oops, let's, uh, let's get rid of this, too, because this water is going to get in the way. Okay, break all this. Okay, basically, uh, like I said, you can see the grass grows here, and then another layer of grass on this other side. Uh, the reason I'm doing it from down below instead of from above is because, um, well, for one, it's just easier, and uh, sheep like to bug out when they're dealing with any kind of uh, non-full blocks. So this works out really well, like they can't glitch through the fences, they can't glitch through the half gates, because this is the block they keep bumping into, so they can't really bump anywhere else. Anyway, when you activate it, the water flows through here, collects all the, the wool, and dumps it into here. Since this isn't a full block, it just drops here and drops through the stream. It's it's really, really simple. The rest of this is just fluff, so to speak. I made it look kind of pretty. Uh, you can see the logs here and everything. That's just, like I said, pretty much just uh, fluff. This thing isn't really hard to build at all, and you can probably even simplify it more. I just made it look pretty and added a few little features. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, going over the features one more time, the uh, each cell is exactly seven wide and can fit at least six, six sheep. You could try to fit another one or two if you're lucky, but you can see they're already pretty cramped, so uh, sharing them after you add another one would be much more difficult. Um, it's about as wide as a standard cell, if not smaller, actually, because I think the other ones may be a block or two bigger. And then... Uh, as, as you can see as well, it it takes up hardly any room uh, going sideways. So it, it works really well. I like the design, and you can uh, stack them relatively easy side by side. You could probably stack another one directly on side of it if you compact it a little bit more on the sides. But um, that's about it for this video. Tell me what you guys think, and if you really need a tutorial, I'll be more than happy to make one. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.